Here comes the first mixed martial artist in WWE history, Ken Shamrock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sacramento, California. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Even when Ken Shamrock walks to the ring, he's picturing how he's going to dismantle his opponent. When Shamrock loses his cool, people start losing their limbs. Squaring off against Ken Shamrock is a frightening scenario. Shamrock's an amazing combat athlete if he can stay under control. Never trust a snake. And his opponent from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts. There is nothing but pure evil in the eyes. Ken Shamrock, as intense and tough a superstar as they come. An in-your-face submission style, really just an in-your-face attitude all around. He's the world's most dangerous man for a reason, Cole. Shamrock has a short fuse and a deep arsenal. He can break you in half in so many different ways, and just when you've had enough, he'll continue the torture. Definitely no walk in the park when you're facing off against him. And plotting his demise across the ring, Jake the Snake Roberts. There are few superstars who are so quietly intimidating as Jake the Snake. Yeah, there's no way you can step into the ring against the Snake and not feel the cold finger of fear run down your spine. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. And Roberts is taking control in this match. Shamrock's arsenal is being taken away. Oh, what a knee lift. Ooh, well measured. Jake up the turnbuckles. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. From way up. He turns it around on Roberts. That might be what gets Shamrock out of jeopardy. Jake Roberts is a style all of his own, calculated and methodical. That is a style. And shoulders are down. There's the kick out by Jake Roberts. This isn't even close to over. Drop kick. Running leg drop. Sharp jab. Series of strikes to the back. He's got him down. Is this it? And he easily kicks out of the count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. The snake with the arm ringer. Short close. This could be it. Cover. Great officiating. As the rep noticed, he was on the ropes. One step ahead there. Ken Shamrock picks the leg. Looking for the ankle lock submission. Ankle lock in by Shamrock. Will his opponent tap? The ankle lock is in. There's no escape. Oh, hold on. Maybe there is. Oh, stiff punch. He may be. No signs of either combatant backing down. Oh, man. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Two titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Oh! Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? And Shamrock reverses. These two having an answer for everything. Ooh, things have just gone nuclear. Warheads landing on the front lines now. Boom. And just like that, the scales are inbound. Shake the snake. We know what's next. DDT. Did Roberts just finish this? Makes a cover.
Here is your winner, Jake the Snake Roberts. Ken Shamrock defeated and incensed. All the expertise in the world just couldn't get Shamrock the win. Now all that's left is his temper. Clear the locker room, Jets, because the world's most dangerous man is not in the mood. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The following is a four-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Allentown, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 275 pounds. Saxon, how do you defend this superstar? You hold the door open. And here comes one of my favorites. And his opponents, first from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 250 pounds, Connor. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? Yeah, now we're talking. And from Canada, weighing in at 220 pounds, Van Pine Russ. I don't always agree with it, but this superstar isn't afraid to come out here and take things by force. Oh, you hypocrite. I'll just wait until another superstar, one... The WWE Universe just exploded! And from Paris Island, South Carolina, weighing in at 305 pounds, Sergeant Slugger! The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is gonna be good. There's the bell, and this battle royal is officially kicking off, guys. Surprises really abound in this type of match. Yeah, we've seen dark horses prevail in this type of chaos before. Elimination after elimination until one superstar stands tall to claim the victory. Who will it be? That's the million-dollar question. Reverse STO. Neckbreaker. Ooh, stuck to the back and make it twice. Ouch. Able to interrupt the attack. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Bam. Oh, dropping the bow. trouble. Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Neck breaker. <laughs> Boom. Big 
Oh, 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 what a nasty knee lift. Well, that changed. And he's able to reverse. We could have an elimination here. Get ready to send one over. They want to take things outside. No telling what they have in store now. Keep trying. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Sharp punch. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, what a kick. As this match goes on, is there any self-doubt running through the minds of these competitors? You can't even allow that notion to creep into your head. You have come too far and fought too hard to grow weak now. Him a strike. Oh, he's got 11 arms and feet. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Five the advantage after a string of counters. Missed timing with that springboard. Running knee lift. Arm ringer applied. Look out! He switches it back around. Taking off from the ropes. He's on his heels a bit now. That's just the nature of the battle royal call. If anything, they should be worse off by this point in the match. Oh, no, just a little disrespect. What a match! It's total match! in here. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Had that one scouted. Ah, uh, classic! Oh, no. Tombstone pile driver. Oh, what a four. Boom, what a kick. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. God, ugly but effective counter. Foot to the... Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. F5! Thunderous! Can he put this one away? From behind. Back suplex. The end may be in sight for his opponent on the top. Oh, a oh, piercing elbow. That could be it. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Mm. 
Looking for elimination here. Oh, man, he is fired up now. A competitor has been eliminated. <laughs> he went right into that turnbuckle. And Zagiri in the corner. But there's more to come. Wow, spectacular 450. This packed house is going absolutely nuts. They don't want this. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. F5! Thunderous! That puts him in total control. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. F5! Thunderous! This one is all but over. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Oh, this could be the end here. Here is your winner. Take a look at the winner of this fatal four-way match, ladies and gentlemen. All four of these men were prepared for a hard-fought match, and that is exactly what they delivered. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE European Champion. We are about to see something good. The Hall of Fame powerhouse. Introducing the challenger from... One of the more unique titles in WWE history on the line here tonight. The European title. You call it unique, Cole. I call it underrated. Some truly great talents have held that championship. Staved off that attack. He deflects it right back. Big right hand. Running knee lift. There's a lot to be said about the British Bulldogs' physical cover by the champ. He throws his shoulder up before two. Trying to catch him off guard with that attempt. Up top, Samoa oh, Driver. Penny Predicament, shoulders down. Two. And a kick out to keep those title dreams alive. I really thought he was going to get his shoulder up at one. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Getting him into the corner. Bulldog's attack gets reversed. Davy Boy reverses. Leg drop. Oh, what a kick. Producing a trampoline. 
He must have seen that coming. Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. Shoulders down, championship on the line. He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pen. Uh-oh. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Can't prepare your face for that. A striking blow. Oof, kick right to the gut. Foot to the belly. Lifting them up. Relative ease. Followed up with a discus punch. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. Strong suplex. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Davey Boy's offensive wherewithal was on point. Set up for the oh, side rushing leg sweep. <laughs> Bulldog just adding salt to the wound right now. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. It's almost hard to believe that this epic robbery began like any other, with jealousy and harsh words. But from that seed has blossomed an all-time blood feud. Yeah, who could have predicted when all this began that they become bitter enemies, the likes of which we rarely see. Needed a gut create separation. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Big knee to the midsection. Oh. Perched on the shoulders. Boom! Oh! Feast your eyes. The champ the will cover. stay champ. Three to two count. Title still on the line. I don't believe it. How did the challengers survive that? By the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was these two going strike for strike, it seems. Boom! Neither competitor is backing down. Stop that one coming. Took advantage. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Who will break first? That is the question. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Perched on the shoulders. Pop! I think the champ's got it. The cover. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Oh, my goodness. Kick to the spine. And the momentum's running away from Bulldog now. As he goes on the attack against the Bulldog, you can see he's broken Davy Boy's focus and gotten inside his hip. Man, what a hit. The champ looking worn out. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. The ref still counting, might be a count out. He beats the count out. Perched on the shoulders, feast your eyes. But champions need to finish the job. Shoulders down. victory as he retains the title. What a title defense for him tonight. He came in with that unshakable champion mentality. It's Mr. Money in the Bank.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brothers of Destruction from Parts Unknown. Weighing in at 323 pounds, Kid! <laughs> and his opponent, representing the NWO, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash! Kevin Nash making his way to the ring with a purpose. And I think we all know... Bell rings and Kevin Nash set for competition. Defiant, arrogant. Dangerous. All words to describe this behemoth. You forgot cold-blooded and menacing, Cole. Big Daddy Cool is all about dominating and flattening the competition, so you can bet we're in store for some mayhem tonight. Maybe I should also add disruptive to the list, Corey. And across the ring is the hell that awaits him. There is no way to adequately describe the suffering Kane inflicts on other human beings. Corey, some of the most gruesome images we've ever seen have been created by quick pen attempt by Kevin Nash. Immediately powers out. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. I don't think Kane expected that kind of destruction to come his way. Yeah, Nash just let loose with that ruthless offense. Taking flight. Oh, God! A terribly risky move, and it did not pay off. It's slugging it out, toe to toe now. Ooh! Oh, Kane waylays him. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Boom! Oh. And a menacing look from Kane. He is looking to do some serious harm. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about these two trading one blow after another. Oh, he knew it was coming. Ooh. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Slugging away with everything they've got. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. If this connects, it is over. Tombstone. Big Sexy couldn't avoid the big shot. And just eating a knee on the reversal. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Packs a well-placed punch. Short clothesline hits its mark. Knee right to the gut. Oh. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. He may get the three count right here. This is it. He breaks the pin before a one count. What's it going to take to put this match away? And he's able to fight Kane off. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Short clothesline line hits its mark. And Nash is failing to offer any resistance here. Big Sexy being forced into a defensive position here. Textbook scoops. That should do it right there. The ref not even getting a one. He didn't even let the ref start the count. The Devil's Favorite Demon with the Devil's Favorite Sidewalk Slam. The Devil's Favorite Demon walking among us and doing his work. This is a horror movie that's spilled over into real life. Yeah. 
getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Going right to the throat. Ooh. Stop in the leg. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Taking hits from a man the size of Nash has got to be taking its toll. Here it comes. Looking for Joke Slam. Thunderous. Kevin Nash bending the rules, and I'm not going to be the one to stop him. Just brutality. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Ouch. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And the count doesn't even begin. Where in the world does one find such strength at this stage? All the way up and down. Choke slam straight to hell. Kane delivering his own brand of hell. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. They say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. But it looks like Nash decided... He wasn't going to be anyone's cliche. And the look on Kane remains stoic and menacing. He dug a grave for his opponent tonight, and he just came close to burying him in it. Kane's piercing gaze landing squarely on his opponent. Oof. These men, Kane with the grip. see Nash eating crow like this, but there he is, and here we are. A naturally gifted cruiserweight phenomenon. The following contest is scheduled for one foot. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha! Are you guys ready? And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Chris Ben Watts. Matches like these with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. And with the bell, we're about to see Eddie Guerrero in action. Eddie's about as scrappy and crafty as they come in this business. Guerrero has a chip on his shoulder the size of Texas, and that's manifested in his in-ring style. As impressive as it is cutthroat. Yeah, and for that, Guerrero is definitely a competitor you should never take your eye off, whether you're his opponent or the official. Though his opponent will have something to say about that, he himself has garnered a lot of experience and knows in this business you're either stepping up or being stepped on. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And Latino Heat is really dialed in right now. Yeah, Eddie just can't be stopped now. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. And a shoulder in the air. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Turned that one around. And Eddie pays for leaving an opening. We know Empire with a straight shot there. Answering back. And they just busted out of that impactful maneuver. Just teeing off with that fight for everybody. He's got the answer for that one. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Boom. Eddie with a reversal. What 
Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Oh, look at this. German suplex. And not done yet. Another German. A trio of wicked German suplexes. A stalemate of counters. Captures the clothesline into a Spanish fly. With the reversal. Corkscrew calf kick. Oh my! And that move looks to have turned the heat up on Guerrero. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. And that prevents Eddie's attack. Oh, look at this. German suplex. And not done yet. Another German. A trio of wicked German suplexes. Oh my God. the most graceful loser. I can see him already thinking about revenge. Look who it is. And 
at a combined weight of 560 pounds, the World Tag Team Champions, the Doom Brigade. The champ comes into his title defense incredibly competent, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. So that's what it's all about, the tag team titles. We all know this five-ton structure made of 2,700 feet of chain link does not judge, but it punishes. It rewards evil and shows no mercy. It will not relent. Only the men and women who have stepped inside this demonic structure know just how unrelenting it is. And there isn't a soul alive who doesn't have trepidation when they step inside this cell. <laughs> I'm just near the cell and I'm feeling uneasy. Ooh, well measured. And that toss got some hang time. Power like that is what makes our champion so intimidating. These two showing how well scouted they each are. How about the strength of the champ? Just flinging off the challenger. This is not an environment you can prepare for. What's the state of mind a superstar must have coming in? A competitor must be relentless if they want to survive hell in a cell. They have to put the fear of the unforgiving steel out of their mind. The steel can feel like a cheese grater being dragged down your face. It can mangle your body. Pulled in from belly to belly. The challenger's looking shaken. Dominating shoulder tackle. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. Able to get the advantage here. He reverses it. Heading back to the ring. Back suplex. Very nice. Jack wards that attack off. And now the most dangerous area inside the cell. Ooh, got caught with a punch to the face. Oh! Now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. Precision strike to the face. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Guys, the cell wall just broke. This is not good. Well, I don't think any of us were expecting that. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Cactus Jack has it locked in. Into the pin attempt. And it's a kick out at one for the defending champion. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Not the position you want to be in right now. Strong elbows right on the mark. All right, then. Guess this, Madman. Jack is Jack. Has him hooked. The champ's eyes were glazed over. At the top of the cell now. Wow. This is a career-defining moment for him. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. Scaling the cell now, guys. Who knows what he's thinking now? I must say, he's got impressive climbing skills. You're the best, Byron. Raining down those 
shots to the back of the neck. Nice scoop slam. You could hear the chain link fence buckling with every impact. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Strong punch. Jordan. Guys, we can see the top of the cell. But we're about to see. Championship match just turned into a crime scene. I don't know how this match can go on. That is something else. Rough landing. Someone get the EMTs ready. I just know this isn't going to end well. Precariously battling 25 feet up in the air. The champion into the cover. He kicks out with force. This deep into the match, and he's able to kick out before a one count? It's stunning. Where do these superstars get the idea to do this? I don't know, but if this is something they dreamt up, I wouldn't want to know what their nightmares look like. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. Remember, though, what goes up must come down. Sometimes it's the coming down part that gets you. Swinging neckbreaker textbook. My gosh, this is making the hair on my neck stand up. A nervous energy has come across this arena as war is waged on top of the cell. Guys, he clearly has no regard for his own well being. He gave you the first hit, Byron. He's on top of the cell now. Why? Why is he on top of the cell? I think we're about to find out, Corey. We know with this matchup, but we didn't think the hell was going to be let loose above the cell. Brutalizing his oh, oh, the cell. And now Jack. Pin attack for the championship. Oh, got the shoulder up just at the last minute. At two and a half, he kicked out. Lands the knee drop. This is beyond dick. Must have something different in mind here. Wow. Cactus Jack looking for the double arm DDT. This one might change hands. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. A well-timed dodge. Oh my goodness, this will not end well. A gorilla press ran right into the side of the south. Oh, Jack caught by the counter. Oh, and an uppercut. I lost the tooth. Discus knee strike. We knew this was going to be this match, but these superstars are taking it above anyone's expectations. Proving hell doesn't need to stay in the confines of the cell. Hell can go anywhere. Power slam. How can they even compete up there? How are they not frozen with fear? When you hold this much contempt for your opponent, you'll do anything you have to to drag him to hell. My goodness. What a hit from Jack. Neither on the rocks. They got up there, but how are they going to get down? I don't know if they thought that far ahead. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. You can just feel the imminent disaster in the air. For the win to retain the championship! And the champ can't keep the challenger down long. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point? Oh, a stiff headbutt. Guys, we know just how dangerous Hell in a Cell can be. And we're seeing it up close right now. Oh, nothing good ever comes from fighting on top of the cell. Spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Lineman up top. He's got big plans. On the top, double axe handle. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for an opening. Set up for a second time. Jack in a poor position. Big time power slam. Now that is why they're the champ. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Put me into the cover of the title of the line. New champion, new champion.
An emphatic victory for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight.